Hi everybody, welcome to Kid Life. You know what time it is, it's Wednesday and we're gonna do our virtual devotion time together. And as we start off each week, we stand for kids discovering living in freedom every day. So don't forget about Sunday morning service. We are at the church in person. It starts at 10.30 a.m. Hope to see you there. And ongoing prayers for our Kid Life prayer partners, Y and Carolyn. Please remember them in prayer. And let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for allowing us to have this time to come together to learn more about you. And uh, we also pray for Wyatt and Carolyn. And we just pray that you will uh, teach us something through this devotion. In your name we pray. Amen. So, it's devotion time. Can God still use me if I have really messed up? That is the topic of tonight's devotion. You can find what we're going to talk about based in Judges, chapter 16, verses 23 through 30. The Philistines had finally found out where Samson's strength lay. They realized that he had been dedicated to God from the day he was born, and that his hair was a sign of the Nazarite vow. Now Samson was their prisoner, blind and in chains, grinding grain in prison. But his hair, which had been cut, started to grow again. The Philistine kings got together to celebrate their victory over Samson and said, let's get Samson here to entertain us. When they brought Samson out, he asked the servant to put him between pillars that support the temple. Samson prayed to God and said, remember me, O God. Please make me strong just one more time. Then Samson put one hand on each pillar and pushed with all his might, and the whole temple came crashing down. Samson died with the people and killed more Philistines that day than he had during his whole life. If God stopped using everyone who sinned, made a mistake, or went the wrong way, there would be no one left to use. All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Even if the Apostle Paul said, not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Even though Samson had messed up, God was still able to use him. In the end, Samson turned to God because he knew where his strength came from. Maybe he had not prayed for a long time, but God saw his faith and answered his prayer. In the New Testament, Samson is even mentioned for his faith, together with others like Gideon that we've also talked about before. And our code word is strength. So our verse for the week is, Therefore, this is what the Lord says, If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. And that's Jeremiah 15, 19a. So no matter how bad we messed up, as long as we go to God in prayer and we ask him for, for um, his forgiveness and we say that we're sorry and ask him to make us better people, then there is nothing that he, that he cannot do with you for his glory. So let's go ahead and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you again so much for this time that we have together to learn about Samson. And even though we may mess up sometimes, whether in school or... Um, you know, at home or wherever, just know that we just know that you can always forgive us, but at the same time, we must learn from our mistakes and know that you will guide us and help us to be better people for you. In your name we pray, amen. So keep calm and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.